Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and today I'm going to teach you how to weave a basic square or rectangular basket base. So I'm going to begin by adjusting my laptop camera here, <laughs> swing it down so you can see the table where I'll be working, okay? And the tool I use is called a spoke weight, and this is a heavy metal weight that we use to hold the pieces of reed in place. It's really like an extra pair of hands. So I'm going to use it to hold the stakes in place. And we call them stakes because we're working on a rectangular or a square basket. But if we were working on a round basket, we would call them spokes. So we're going to start by placing our stakes in place and I have been soaking this reed already for about five minutes and I have determined the rough or the wrong side of my reed and I'm going to lay these horizontal ones in place to begin with and I can use the measurements on my spoke weight to help me get the placement of these stakes and if you'll notice on the center stake I have marked a pencil mark uh, at the very center and this is just a little tip to help you to square off your basket a little bit easier to help center it okay now we begin we're just doing a very basic base just a basic over under weave and to do that we just we alternate we go looking at now at the vertical piece looking at this vertical piece it goes over this one under this one over this one under this one over this one the second piece is just the opposite put it in place And, it, and in looking at, at the second vertical stake, it goes under, over, under this one, over this one, under this one. Just the opposite. And again, we continue to lay these in place. Just the opposite. I've marked the center. Of this one as well so I'll match it up with the center here that my center marking and this will help me to square everything off can you see how everything is just the opposite over under over under let me lay this one in wrong so you can see how it looks when it's wrong can you see how those are they, those are laying the same they don't really lock into place so that is not correct. And I have seven stakes that I cut at 15 inches to go vertically. And I have five stakes that I cut 17 inches to go horizontally. This is just kind of my own pattern. All right, so now we've laid out our basic base. It's a little, little cattywampus, but you know, not overall, it's not too bad. Let me just see if I can square this up just a bit. And what I want my base to measure is I want it to measure seven inches by five inches. So let's take a look. We are pretty much right at seven inches there, five, Oh, this is good. Seven and five inches. They're very good. So, so we're we're really we are just right on. If we needed to adjust things, we could at this time. And you always want to measure your base before you twine your keeper row. And I'm going to show that to you in the next video. <laughs> but excuse me. But but we measure it before we twine that keeper row. Now we also need to make sure everything is centered. So what we do is we measure, look at the top here, from here to here we're at 5 inches, so I want to be at about 5 inches down below here. So let's take a look, here to here, we're also right at 5. 
by marking that little center mark, that sure helps to even things up. I'm going to take a look here. Oh, five and a quarter. And here, we're just at about five. But you can always pull or shift your read at this time so that everything's square. So can you see from here to here, these are pretty equal. And here to here, we're equal here. We've got our base, the size that we want. So this is how you lay out a basic square or rectangle, as in this case, a rectangular base. So, put my camera back up here so y'all can see me. Um, the next video, I will show you how to twine that keeper row and we'll get going with the weaving. But this will get you started. Ta visit me on my blog. Here it is www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com. Um, I'm pretty amateurish here. My video program doesn't even have an editing program, so I can't type this in <laughs> to just show it to you on a piece of paper. But come by, visit my blog, take a look around, uh, leave a nice comment, and I will see you soon. I hope the weather is warm where you all are at right now because I am so ready for spring here in New Mexico. Take care, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.